Hi friends, welcome to Victor's Reality. In today's video, I'm gonna show you what I use to cool my CPU and GPU to get five to 10 C lower than normal. Let's begin. So both of these are from the company Opolar. I got these on Amazon. Now the one on the left is a newer one. The one on the right I've been using for all my videos prior to this video. The one on the left is USB powered and you can connect it with through a computer or you can connect to your AC adapter uh, just with the cable. It has a built-in battery so if the power goes out you can still have a fan. The one on the right is just a simple AC adapter that came with it. Uh, no built-in battery but as you can see it's smaller the one on the right doesn't push out as much air as the one on the left common sense there's two fans on the left and you can control them independently if you only want your top one or both or just the bottom one and it swivels left and right goes up and down you can even move the, the fans up and down the one on the right you just you know up in that position uh, you can face it up if you want um, but it's, it's more compact and smaller to fit in tighter areas now this is what I use for my setup. As you can see, it's a Thermaltake P3 tempered glass case. I have a lot of room for air. I can put this behind the GPU, pushing air, more air in. Now I have it three inches from the glass. I, I found out that my Aorus uh, GPU with one inch, it's you can't do anything with it. It gets super hot, 80C easy, just by putting it one inch from the glass. Now if I put two inches, that's my perfect, that's where all my benchmarks are, two inches from the glass. And I get, you know, around 60C um, with the most demanding things. Um, and a, a lot of times lower than that. But of course, if I add the fan, 55C, mostly all the time, 55C with the left big fan. I'm trying a new thing now. So I'm three inches from the glass for my GPU, plus the fan, it pushes a lot of air to the GPU and out. So that's that's what I want. I, you know, this is you know overclocking to the max of the GPU. I'm, I put it to the max. It's one of the fastest GPUs out there in terms of overclocking for a regular 2080. Um, this is the extreme version. So with these fans, it even cools it. And I find that my, my clocks are more stable. Anytime I'm lower than 60C, I get, you know, 2055, 2070, 2085 megahertz. Um, in my games, so that's you know if you're gonna overclock you want the most and most uh, performance possible I would recommend getting either fan or any fan and just pushing more air into your case because these GPUs They do blow a lot of air through their cooling system and you need that air and it has to be cool air It can't be inside the same, you know case air. You're gonna be blowing hot air inside You need to get fresh air into your GPU So this is what I do what I would do before with this Opolar small fan i would just have it tilted up like this just like that blowing air in into the case as you can see right there it's a simple solution very cheap fan this is how i had all my videos with all my benchmarks and it reduced 5 to 10 c easy with my gpu at two inches from the glass small fan like that again this is for my case you guys got to get inventive with your smaller cases Another option you can do with this fan or with a you know 120 millimeter case fan, you can get even USB fans, um, AC Infinity I believe, 120 millimeter fans that you can, they're PC fans, but they're USB powered. You can stick it right under your GPU in a smaller case. You would have to put it right under your GPU. And here's a, a video I'm gonna show you right now. And he has a fan under his GPU to cool it. He puts the fan on top of his GPU and does wonders for his system. So you just got to get inventive with your setup. But with these small fans, either one of these Opolar fans that are, you know, I would say external fans, or you put a 120 millimeter, 140 millimeter inside your case fan, USB powered, if you don't want to connect to your motherboard, it'll do wonders. It'll cool your system. The thing is to get cold air, even if you're a smaller case, you know, you can put the fan under your case that has grills, opening grills to get to your GPU, or you would put it right under your fan, but you have to have grills under your case to be able to, you know, get in air, fresh air, and uh, to your GPU and out to your system, however you have your exhaust system going. So this is what I would use before, and let me show you what I use now. So as you can see, this is the Polar, this is the double one. 
Now this is really, really powerful. And again, it has a built-in battery. So let me show you on low, medium, and high. I don't know if you can hear it. So you put this right there. When I want to overclock my GPU, if I'm playing VR or I'm going to edit and I use my GPU for the editing or I uh, just want to game regularly and just I want to have it at high refresh rates. And again, I'm telling you, you want stable clocks, the most the most stable clocks you can get, which I hit you know, again 2050, 2070, 20, uh, 2085. And I get these stable if I add these fans and you can even, you know, hire the top one. You can hire the top one if you want to feed your fan, your CPU fan. And I just lowered, you know, put the lower one for the GPU. So both things are getting extra cool air. Again, this is just a setup that I use. Not everyone's going to do this, but I do this to get the most stable clocks. And I do see a reduction in temps. I want to say 5 to 10 C easy. Maybe more sometimes, but to be on the safe side, I would say... 5 to 10C and this is an awesome thing that you can use to cool your GPU. If I get a different case in the future, I'm thinking of getting that new Razer. Uh, those look, I think the dynamic Razer case looks amazing and I, you know, I wanted a smaller case anyway and I'd have to put, you know, a 120 millimeter uh, fan under it, you know, two or three just to get all the cool air I can possibly get into that small case. And a good exhaust system but again i usually have my fans um, my total fans like my gpu right now is running at 100 percent i don't care about the noise you know i have headphones when i game or i edit so that's not a problem but uh you know i have that and i have my exhaust you know i usually get 80 percent to 100 and my cu cpu fans i usually usually have it at 80 to 100 percent so I'm, I'm just having this 100 percent all the time so that's why this benefits me in my situation but everyone's different so if you found this video helpful please leave a like share comment and subscribe and i'll see you guys next time